video games. Video games. How much fucking time is it gonna take Now's your chance. for us to find Run. these fucking things? much time. The answer is too Run. much time. This is bullshit. Now's your chance. Run. <laughs> Fuck power rocks. All my homies hate power rocks. That enemy's weak to wind. Now's your chance. Run. Change. Run. What if Almighty is actually just radiation? And all these kids are gonna, like, suffer radiation poisoning for the rest of their lives? Yeah, Persona! Then 20 years into the future. They're like on an iron lung. Persona! This is fucking. Now that's what I call fucking. Now's your chance. Run. That's a fucking. Now's your chance. Run. It's a fucking. It's a fucking. You want a fucking? Can I put it in your butt? Oh no, that was my chance. Run. Oh, 
Oh boy. Now's my chance. Now's chance. Run. Run. Oh, hey. Now's my chance. Now's your chance. Run. Run. Wonder when my chance is. You know when when is my chance? I don't know. Kinda wanna do it. I don't know. Don't let it get away. Dude. Let's go. Someone finish this one off. Three enemies left. You can win this. Three enemies left. Counting on you. Persona. Persona. Two to go. We can do this. Persistent. Masco. Two enemies left. Oh, you're Don't lower your guard now. Enemy defeated. Don't stop now, Nato Kun. Miss. Whatever. Dude. A little bit of overkill. Yeah, no, we're keeping the XP from this one. Sorry, bub. Seal bomb. Not bad, partner. Nice. Cool breeze. Restores 8% of HP and SP after battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, I leveled up. <laughs> I leveled up. All right, Everyone level up. levels up. Everybody poops. Uh oh. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Run. 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 
Dude, we're gonna have double Mega Dolone. Twice the Mega Dolone. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Run. Run. <laughs> hey, are the Tony Hawk games uh, good on PC? The the remakes were they on PC? I heard on release they were like a buggy mess. Now's your chance. Run. But I think they were like decent. From what I heard. I might be wrong. I just remember I have a lot of nostalgia for uh Underground Two Run. Thug Two. I played uh Tony Hawk Pro Skater Three and Tony Hawk's Underground Two on both on PlayStation Two. And I love those games. So, you know, I'm 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 down for some nostalgia bait. Now's your chance. Run. You know, I I I I'm a fool. I can be a fool. So I'll get my hot strings, baby. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Run. Run. Now's your chance. Run. <laughs> Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Run. Run. God, this is where, like, uh, if anybody's watching the VOD, you know, this is where you skip ahead two hours, you know? This is where you hit the fast forward button. Any VOD watchers? Ay ya? Ay ya? Any VOD watchers in the chat? Oh yeah, funny thing about the uh, the VODs I had saved is it was at a time where affiliates didn't guarantee to have quality options. Oh, that's not good. Now's your chance. Run! So. I was streaming in, what was it, 480p? Because people were complaining that my stream was too high quality. That they couldn't watch it. Now's your chance. Run! And it was funny because, like, people were blaming it on me. Like, I don't think your computer can handle 720p, bro. It's like, no. No, it can it can. It's it's just your internet or your PC is bad. Sorry. Try downloading some more REM. Now's your chance. Run! But yeah, so those uploaded, I, I upscaled them to uh, 1080p because of the way YouTube's bullshit works. Basically, when it encodes each of the uh, 
each of the different resolutions. It also does bitrate based on the resolution. So even though it was 480p, they were decent enough bitrate that you could actually make out a lot of stuff. Like, it was pretty decent quality. But if I uploaded it as 480p, it would have looked like shit. And so, because of that, I upscaled it to 1080. Uh oh, that one's immune. However, now's your chance. Run! In the future, they will be actual 720p. Upscale to 1080p. Now's your chance. Run. This one will look even better. It's just for that authentic PSP experience. That's all, that's all I wanted. Or the authentic PlayStation 2 experience. You know, you gotta make sure it looks like you're playing it on that, that CRT you got there. Now's your the one that gives you Run. eye cancer. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> What was the deal with cathode ray tube televisions? Like, those things are fucked. I think it was something in the cathode ray tube. That, like, was, like, hazardous. Now's your chance. Run! Jesus Run! Christ. How rare. How rare. Now's your chance. I'm gonna look on Run! floor five for a while. Maybe maybe I'll have some some good luck there. Luck, quote unquote. Honestly, I'm I'm very grateful for Rise. Now's your chance. Run. Not only is she infinitely less annoying than Teddy, she's also infinitely more useful. Like she actually can do things that benefit you. Boy. Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. Soda. Dude. 
God. Sorry. Ball sack. Let's go. Nato Kun's busting heads and looking cool. Easy. Okay, let's go. Unlucky. Unlucky. All right, I leveled nice. up. Oh, nice. Did I level up? Maragi time. Salvation. I gained a level. Mega Dolaun. Nice. It's level up time. Megadola on. It's level up time. Level up. Fucking game sucks. Uh oh, that one's immune to. Do Now's your chance. Run. How many hours have I put into this game? Like a hundred. Game sucks. Like, here's the thing. In order to know if a game's bad, you definitely need to put more than like two hours into it, right? Now's your chance. Most, like, game critics nowadays will play a game for two hours, say, yeah, it's great, or, nah, it sucks, this is shit. Really, to properly, like, critique a game, or not even critique, but just, like, say, like, oh yeah, I enjoyed this, or nah, I didn't enjoy this. Now's your chance. Yeah, you, you have to, like... Really give it a the good college try, you know. Ooh, a rare one! Don't let it get away. Like, <clears throat> you know, people rag on like. Let's go. Like people who have put Enemy like a thousand hours into a game. Natokun and, like, negatively review it. Like, wow, this game is trash. How about that? It's like, oh, I do have a thousand hours, then. Oh, did I it's level like, up? well... I gained a level. Sometimes... All it takes is, like, one or two things. Like, all it takes is learning just a few things about the game. And then obviously there's like your chance. Run. this joking. Like you know, I say game sucks. It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm not being I'm being facetious. Right? I don't actually think game sucks. Usually when I say game sucks, it is purely as a gesture of like Now's your chance. Of jokingness. You know, I said it a lot playing Overwatch. 
I think Overwatch is a fine game. Now's your chance. Run. Yeah, I say it a lot. Fucking playing a lot of games, really. Don't actually mean it. Now's your chance. Run. Now's your chance. Run. Like honestly, it took me a while to realize that Borderlands 3 was a bad game. And I think a lot of that was me just really genuinely hoping that it was worth playing. That it was going to be a decent follow-up to some game. Now's your chance. Run. And I was like, eh. Like, at best, I kind of feel lukewarm on Borderlands 3. But it took me a while to sort of, like, gauge that. Maybe, like, 50 hours in. I was like, hmm. Yeah, this is really starting to fall off. Uh, like, the wonder of exploration and, like, figuring out the game has fallen off now. gotten a lot of changes since then. And you know, maybe maybe someday. Now's your chance. Maybe Run. someday I'll give it a go. Again. You know, it may even change my opinion. But as of now. Like it's a bit whack. But it took me a while to see it. I swear, I have not found a single one of these fucking things in so long. And I don't know why. I feel like I'm being pranked. Like I'm being trolled. Oh, rare one. Don't let it get away. Are you trolling me? Did you hack into my game? I'm gonna be level 99 by the time we fucking finish this. Ha -ha, level up. Oh, did 
I level up? My level has risen. Yes, I leveled up. The fuck is Vigor Song? Relaxing Wave has been upgraded to Vigor Song. Uh, has become stronger. Oh, nice. You know, he's gonna get posted to fucking live stream fails. Dumb fucking streamer falls for misinformation. Uh -oh. Now's your chance. Run. Grinds for four hours in the wrong place. Now's your chance. Run! Stupid fucking baby piss pants streamer. Pisses pants and whines on stream. Uh oh. Now's your chance. Run! Shits the bed. God, this feels like this reminds me. Now's your chance. Run. Like <laughs> this reminds me of trying to get the fucking the myriad grenade. Just like mindlessly running around Now's your chance. Run. Just uh, hoping, hoping for some random ass chance. Now's your chance. Run. Like I feel like I'm just getting super unlucky here. Like, I don't know... Am I just getting super unlucky? Like, we've had four of these things for the past... Like two hours, two and a half hours. Now's your chance. Run. Is there like some hidden mechanic? That is making it so I just don't encounter it. I feel like I'm actually going fucking batty. Now's your chance. Run. Down batty. Dude, where's, where's the running boots? Where do I get the running boots at? Now's your chance. Run! Yo, can I find the bicycle in Pewter City? <laughs> I think I think that's the wrong city. <laughs>
Now's your chance. Run! Honestly, I kind of want to play some more Pokemon. Just casually. But, like, the game I'm playing, the games I'm playing casually right now, like, already, like, I'm committed. Now's your chance. Run! Right? And it's not... It's something that takes a lot of time. So it's kind of eating all of my free time. Speaking of which, I've been playing, uh, you know, Path of Exile. <laughs> you know. It's fun to just kill the man. Now's your run chance. around. Run. Shoot the guy. Hit the guy. But I kind of hit like this, uh, this point. Well, actually, Now's your chance. It, it, it's entirely explainable. After Act 5, you get a 30% debuff to all elemental resistances. <clears throat> and I kind of forgot about it. I forgot how big that is, like 30%. So I was like, oh, right, the 30% debuff. And then I kind of just didn't do anything about it. And I was like, why am I getting my shit kicked in? Like, Now's your chance. Why, am I, why am I dying so much? And I check my elemental resistances. Everything's like 15%. <laughs> and, and I'm playing Witch. I'm not... I'm playing Glass Cannon. So, my dying fast was even faster, you know? <laughs> oh my fucking god. Now's your chance. Run! Please, for the love of God. Now's your chance. Run! Oh yeah, and I think they added something in one of the recent updates where like every piece of armor can have movement speed on it now. Like bonus movement speed. So, you know, if you if you stack that up, you can really get schmoving. It like right now I'm level like 50. And it goes up to like 20%, 25% or something like that. Uh, so just like imagine run. that on all of your fucking pieces of armor. Plus the quicksilver flask. You zoom. Give it to me, man. Krieg was cast? Uh-oh. 
Now's your chance. Run! Sorry. Who? I have never heard that name before. It's a Romanian boxer. Huh. Interesting. Now's your chance. Run! There. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Okay. All aboard the poop train. I guess. I got pinged. Can I force you to download Apex? Um... Hmm. I'm trying to think. What can I what can I extort this person for? I got it. Only if you give me all of your team fortress to trading cards. Oh, Kugai. Kugai wanted me to download Apex. Hostile shadows, be careful. Ow, oh, hostile shadows. Now's your chance. Run. Oh. Hostile shadows. Ow. Oh. Does it require its own launcher or is it steam? Steam now? Okay. Now's your chance. Run! It used to be, like... Something, I think, right? It was something dumb. Origin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's still on Origin, but just also on Steam. Yeah, okay. Oh man, it sure would be a, a, a travesty if I were to run into the, the Grim Reaper. Now's your chance. Run! Oh man, all of that progress I made on this floor could be lost. This chest? Yes. What's this? I have a really bad feeling about this. You shouldn't open that. You got that, Senpai? Don't ever open that. Do I do it?
Do I do it? You'll die. Okay, but will it will it be something interesting? At the very least, will it break the monotony of running away from enemies for a little bit? Something jumped out of the box. What is this thing? It feels really bad. The Reaper is focused now. All right. Let's go. Not necessary. Excuse the fuck me. Oh god. What the hell? It's not One working. One to go. Keep it up. Persona. Yeah, this isn't happening. Persona! So persistent. Senpai, no! Oh my god. Please get up! Did that go through the magic wall? Or is almighty damage not magic? Oh boy. Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. Persona. Oh, yours. Oh, so Makarakan is only no, non almighty magic. <laughs> I leveled up. Okay. Good to know. And hey, we've finally seen it. So we never have to do that ever again. Now's your chance. Until the very end of the game. Now's your chance. Now's Run. your chance. Run. Son of the rain, we can be like they are. Uh, come on, baby, don't fear the reaper. Now's your chance. <coughs> Run! Take my hand, don't fear the reaper. Be able to fly. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Wait for his first move after far mind charge. Okay. I'm assuming the first one is always gonna be Let's go. Megadolon. Megadolon. Entirely according to plan. Oh. Interesting. So it actually has an AI. Neat. fight it. <laughs> Now's your chance. Run. Run. Mm. Now's your chance. Run. Now's your chance. Run. Now's your chance. Run. Now's your chance. Run. For the love of God. Now's your chance. Run! Please. Please. I just want to play a video game. This isn't gonna take, like, 14 hours, is it? Like, this one quest. Now's your chance! Run! There's no way it spawns on floor 4. It has to be, like, floor 5 to 7. This, there's no way. There's no way. Now's your chance. Now's your Run. chance. Run. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Run. Run. Is 
it a good shadow? Hey, it's a good shadow. Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. Let's go. I couldn't defeat it. Musco. Four enemies Not left. That it matters. Don't give up. Miss. Game sucks. Dude. Three enemies defeated. You're so cool, Senpai. There! I couldn't do it. Just fucking just fucking kill it. Please. Listen, it's a little bit overkill. Fuck. <laughs> We are now level 80. Another level for me! Oh, did I level up? My level has risen! Alright! Level up! your chance. Run. Bro. Gotcha. Scared ya. Scared ya. Now's your chance. How's your chance? Run. Run. Oh my god. Watch it. That one's immune to electricity. Dude. Let's go. Not a dude. Give me the fucking skill card, please. Life drain, cool. We already have that. Okay, we need one more power rock. We need one more power rock. Oh, that's not. Now's your chance. Run! It's not a boulder. It's a rock. Yeah, okay. Careful, it's immune to electricity. These things don't spawn on floor four. These they spawn on floor six. skill card growth too whoa crazy hey we got the one power rock we needed <sighs> okay okay Just make sure before we get the fuck out of here Eight power rocks. We got it. We're done. 
I have almost a million yen. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Fuckers. I'm saving. To the moon. Register. I mean, I, the only way it's like the Spectre is that people told me that you could get it from badass Lance Assassins when you couldn't. Smile. Good work, everyone. Let's go back. I feel like I was lied to. You're back. So you're home. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Hey, Common. I heard you got top marks on that last exam. Keep putting up your studies while taking care of Nanako, too. You're one hard worker, aren't you? I need to act like an uncle every so often and give you some spending money. So, here you go. A big tip. But don't spend it all in... Nah, you can use it however you like. Another 50... We're, we are 100,000 yen. From a million yen. That, that's more than any, like... High school student should ever have at one moment. Why am I checking this? Alright. We're hey. on board. Flaros is going to become closer soon. Yeah. Spend time with Ojima. Ah. Uh. Tojima pushed Nanako to your room for some reason. Now then, first off... What's up? It seems Dojima has something in mind. Sorry, but can you go call Nanako down here? What? Take your time. You called Nanako, as Dojima ordered you to do. You told me to go over there. Uh, well, today is a special day for us. Oh. A special day? Oh, no. This is gonna get a little sad, isn't it? That's right. Today's the day when you, me, and him become family. Uh, well... A anyways, it's the day that we become a real family. Hmm... I don't really get it, but it makes me happy. Alright, let's eat. Yeah! You spent an enjoyable time together. Nanako used up all her energy and fell asleep. Uh, well... <laughs> What's the deal, Dojima? What's with the cake? Oh. Uh, sorry about making you go along with this. It was fun. Huh. You're a nice guy. Dojima looks happy. I felt like I needed to do this to draw the line. And I wanted Nanako to know. She has to know how important my daughter is to me. <laughs> She's 
looking more and more like Chisato. Her smile, her strong attitude. It was hard for me to even look at Nanako's face because she reminds me so much of Chisato. Chisato died because she went to pick up Nanako. There were times when I'd come close to believing that. But even then, I can't count the number of times she saved me just by being there. If I was living by myself, I would never have thought about taking you in. Hmm. I think I was scared. Scared to have someone else around. I was afraid we'd become a family. And then I'd lose it all again. I was running away by chasing a guy who'd run away himself. <laughs> it was almost funny. Hmm. I've been scared this whole time. That's why I used revenge as an excuse to not spend time with her. Was it hard? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Running, regretting, that crap all ends tonight. I'm not going to lose the things that are important to me. Never again. Damn. I'm tearing up a bit. What a guy. The Ryotaro Dojima Social Link has reached level 9. Your power to create personas of the Hierophant Arcana has grown. That's the strength you show me. Thanks. You sat with Dojima for some time in silence before going to your room. Hey. Good morning, Common Coon. The Culture Festival is just around the corner. Let's all do our best to prepare for it. Do you look forward to it? It's been nothing but bad news all year, hasn't it? Uh, it's during times like these, we have to make up for it. Oh, I'm not interested in the blind date part. Understand? I'm, I'm not, okay? Sure, Yukiko, sure. Today, I'll talk about uh, the history of food. It'll be a nice change. Ooh, food. Among food history, one of the most interesting is the history of French cuisine. Always with the fucking French. Now, French cuisine is representative of European food, but it actually stems from Italian food. A noble Italian girl married the French king in the 16th century, and that's when it crossed over, among other things. Like the fork. I can't imagine eating some things without a fork today. It's said that before the fork was introduced, everyone in France ate with just their hands or a knife. So modern French cuisine, with its strict manners now, has its roots in Italian cuisine. How about that? Wasn't it interesting to see world history through the lens of food? You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. When, when are we going to be revealed to the super, the super stats? Right? Like, oh, you, you got above knowledge. Oh, it's you? You're not busy today, are you? Hang out with me. God damn it. Do, do we hang out with worst girl? Here, you'll be free. We'll decide later. I see. What will you do after school? Hmm? Um. Common coon. Um, well, today, if you have time, I'm, uh, just, if you have time, tell me. Bye. 
Maybe you should hang out with Yukiko after school. Yuki-chan. Yuki. Cut the honorifics. <laughs> Lol. We need to talk to that girl up top. Help her deal with her resting bitch existence. Oh, you? I was wait. I mean, what are you doing here again? No one asked you to come. Well, I'm busy. So, what's on your mind? You wanna be friends? Huh? N no. The awkward girl ran away. Maybe you should talk to her again next time you see her. Damn. Got no game. It's just like real life. How magnificent. No, don't tell me. There's no need for me to know. Uh, with this, the accuracy of my dowsing will increase tenfold. Common, I extend to you my sincerest gratitude. Please accept this as my thanks. Mystical Scarab. Time to you. All right. Uh, did anyone in the practice building need something? Can't remember. Yo! We can hang out with Kanji. That sounds pretty fun. Always enjoyed hanging out with Kanji. Never a dull moment, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, what's up, Naoto? Oh, common son. Thank you for saving me. Uh, it seems you need some sort of opportunity before you can come closer. Alright, I'm looking it up. I'm pissed. Then give me your CS trading cards. Persona for Golden. Naoto. Social link Naoto Shirogane. October 21st at the earliest. Talking to a man in a black suit found in the central shopping district. <laughs> yeah, alright. I thought the whole suspicious man thing was about, uh, you know, the person who shows up during the fog. Are you the suspicious man in black? You're... The man in black is looking at you as if appraising you. Do you know about luminal reactions? What part of the body do you use to test DNA? What's the best way to obtain someone's email address? What ten things can you learn from footprints? The man is bombarding you with questions for some reason. With your unmatched knowledge, you answered every challenge smoothly and easily. I see, I see. You are quite an interesting young man. 
Do you know Naoto-sama? Oh. Uh, do you know a detective by the name of Naoto Shirogane? Uh, who? No, I don't, I don't know. No, you are lying. Deliver this to him. He will understand. The man in black handed you something. You received a white card. Good day, then. The man walked briskly away. This smells like a case you should hand it over to Naoto. Oh my god, is it- Are we gonna get to do a murder mystery? With Naoto? Huh. Okay, but first we gotta catch some bugs. Let me get me my bug f catching finger ready. It's just my right index finger. I actually changed the way I hold my controller for bug catching specifically. Hey, I never agreed to play Apex, alright? I never agreed to anything. <laughs> Mm, all right, we, we got a couple options here. Let's see. Social link. So Kanji is rank five. Uh, Saki's brother is rank one. I is rank two. And Marie is rank 5. Yeah, let's finish with Marie. Here. Let's go somewhere. You're helping me remember. Hurry, let's go. Yeah, let's just do that fast. It seems Marie can't wait. Uh, somewhere she can calm down. Samegawa Riverbank practically dragged you here. So, about my memories, what do you think I should do? Are there any clues? No, nothing. Like I said before, this is the only thing I remember. Shows you the bamboo comb again. If you remember, I told you I had this when I first started remembering. Will this help? I it's made of bamboo. <laughs> um. Maybe. Maybe. Is it sold somewhere? I don't know. Maybe we can find something out if we find where I got it from. But this doesn't look like the ones at Juness. They don't look anything like this. Marie looks very interested for once. It seems older. Do you know any stores that might sell stuff like this? What store around here might deal in old combs like that? Old combs? <laughs> Maybe Tatsumi textiles. You recall that Kanji's family runs a textile shop. He might know something about the old bamboo comb. 
that old timer's place? Hmm. It's kind of surprising. Let's go. In the shopping district, wasn't it? With Marie. Oh, good. Both of you are here. Yo. Oh, Senpai. Oh, Senpai. What a coincidence. Mary Chan's with you, too? Huh? huh? Wait. Don't tell me. The two of you are on a date. Uh, we have business here. Jeez, don't scare me like that. Hey, Kanji. Senpai needs to talk to you. Uh, what's up? This. Do you know what this is? Tell me anything you know. Anything at all. This thing? Uh, it's a comb. Pretty damn old one. That's a comb? It doesn't look like it's very easy to use with that shape. So what do you want from me? Came to figure out where this thing is from? Anything will help. Uh, I don't know anything, but... Hey, Mom! Come over here! Yo! Oh, yeah. Kanji's mom might know something about it. I hear you, I hear you. Don't shout so loud! Oh, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Is this girl another one of Kanji's friends? Uh, she wanted to know about this comb. Do you know anything, Mom? A comb? Let me see. Hmm, this is very old. I'm sorry, we don't care anything like this one. Could you tell me anything about it? Anything at all? I've never seen a comb shape like this. I don't think it would be for everyday use. You may have better luck asking at a museum or a gallery than a clothing store. Museum. Uh, so it's rare? Well, I don't know if it's rare, but it's definitely not something that would be sold around here. Uh, if it's not sold, then where is someone going to get one? Come on, lady, help us out here. Don't talk to your mother like that. Yeah, come on, Kanji. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help, but I've really never seen anything like this. Why do I have this? Would I have been given it as a gift? I'm not so sure about that. Combs don't make very good gifts. The word for comb, kushi, has the sounds for pain, ku, and death, shi. It's an old belief that combs have the power to cause separation, but I don't know if kids today care about that stuff. Huh? I didn't know that. But now that you think about it, it does have those words in it. Are you in, Tatsumi-san? May I have a word with you? I'm coming. Just a moment, please. Kanji, please see to our guests. I need to speak with a customer. Please make yourselves at home. Pain and death, huh? Yeah. I guess I wouldn't want to give someone that. She said separation. I didn't know that combs are actually bad luck. Separation. Um. Hmm. Urchin, are you right? Does your head hurt? Whoa, you okay? Sit your ass down. Get some rest. Marie grimaces. Do you remember something? I don't know. But there's something. Ugh, it's gone. I can't remember. Something came up in my mind. I was almost about to recall it. Marie looks vexed. What? You can't remember? You don't remember anything about that comb? Huh? Wait a second. That's not your comb? Don't worry about it. It's my problem. This isn't a normal comb, huh? 
what did she say? A museum? A gallery? Maybe I'll remember something if we go to one of those. You help, too. You can feel Marie's trust for you. You feel that your relationship with Marie has grown deeper. Poggers Champion. Why is my character always blinking during these? Your power to create personas of the Aeon Arcana has grown. I'm tired. I'm going home today. But let's continue this later. Yeah, alright. What's up with her? Marie-chan's a bit mysterious. Senpai, Marie-chan's leaving. Well, see ya. After thanking Kanji and Risei, Kanji and Risei, you escort Marie back to the Velvet Room. Kanji. <gasps> Welcome home, big bro. Uh, worked as janitor at the hospital today. Oh, but Nanako. But Nanako. I don't know. Nanako kind of based. Nanako kind of based. Ends of generation. Yes, Nanako isn't ready to advance yet. All right, that's that's perfect. It's perfectly fine. Listen, I don't want to, like, answer any hard questions about life anyway. You spend a precious moment with Nanako. Listen, someone needs to spend time with Nanako. Alright? Bypass! Bypass! Yo! Yo, Common! Hey, what kind of event did the classes at your old school do during culture festivals? The school here in Inaba has a bunch of different events for our culture festival. I guess this is one of the few school events that everybody actually looks forward to. <laughs> I am looking forward to it. I know, right? I hope it gets really interesting, especially for some events in particular. Blind date with Yosuke when? There's a headline written in large letters on the bulletin board. I was about to say, didn't we already get our test results? The Miss Yasugami High Pageant! It seems to be announcing a beauty pageant that will take place during the culture festival. Ugh, on top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? <laughs> Lol. So that's why she agreed to plan this event. The name Noriko Kashiwagi is indeed on the entry list. The other contestants are... You see a list of familiar names. Yukiko Amagi, Chie Satanaka, Rise Kujikawa, Naoto Shirogane, Hanako Otani. Oh boy, Hanako is in it. Oh boy. One, two, wow. There's a lot of signups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, Risei Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. <laughs> wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. Yukiko fan. She has fans? If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering Chie too. Chie fan. She's actually pretty close to my type. She's actually pretty close to my type. I, I want a girl who can crush my skull with her thighs. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's, uh, 
pretty cute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. But to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> <laughs> It seems that each girl already has fans. Surprised uh, Kanji isn't entering. Yo. What's up, Yosuke? Are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. Yeah. I can head up. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Uh, something did happen. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. Called to the rooftop during lunch. Did something happen? I think I know exactly what happened. You better have a damn good explanation for this! Oh my god. For what? Yosuke, you didn't. No! The beauty pageant! You wrote down our names without telling us, didn't you? Yosuke! No, it wasn't me! Why do you automatically blame me? I mean, if you don't want to do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that! With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out! Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. Yosuke. Oh crap! Yosuke! Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? Um, I mean, you have fans. Well, excuse me for not fitting in. Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. <laughs> now, Tokun, Kanji kun says that he really wants you to be in it. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? I think it would be fun. Of course I do. Of course I do. Ah. Uh, I thought you might be a little jealous, not wanting me to show off to other guys, but... I guess you're not that uptight. The fuck is that supposed to mean, Rise? Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kinda. So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right! That's the way to go. Teddy's looking forward to it, too. Teddy better not be there. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. <gasps> so Ted's behind this, too. <sighs> We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. Oh, damn. Go and call the police. Uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. I mean, just do it. You know, seriously. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji. Just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? Listen, we can't let 
fucking Kashiwagi win. All right. What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. <laughs> if you do, my uh doubts will finally be cleared. Oh damn! <laughs> Kanji's sexuality is is riding on this beauty pageant. Come on, make me a man. Okay, that's one way to put it. Doubts? What are you talking about? Look, just just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? <laughs> He's down so bad. <laughs> he needs dude, someone get him a fucking bottle of water. The preparations for the culture festival in two days are going well. What We're the back. fuck? I'm so tired. What did you... Where'd you guys go? Bye. Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Why? Oh, for the decorations. What are we decorating? Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. Uh... There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke is leading the executive committee. Uh, excuse me? Since when? Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table, conduct a short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, It'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? Oh, the mic their microphone kind of clipped there. <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Oh, no. Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke! Wanna be the batter? We playing fucking baseball with a piece of cloth? <sighs> ah, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back into your face. <laughs> he volunteered hey, to be the catcher. You guys better get serious about this. The group date cafe that your class will be running at the culture festival is getting other underway. Fuck. I definitely had a group of friends like that when I was in uh, the associate student body at my school. All right, I don't think hey. won't become closer yet. Okay. I'm gonna head out, Dojima. I love you. I love you, Dojima. Alright. Uh, where do we go? We go to... Shopping District? I believe. It's at, like, Shopping District North. I want to say. Oh, hey, Kanji. Bye, Kanji. <laughs> Wait, where was it? Where do I go to tutor? From the bus stop in the shopping district. Oh, okay. So it is, it's the same as the hospital. Hi, Rise, bye, Rise. I'm Shu 
Shun Nakajima. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. He's just a shy boy. But he's so smart, you know? Got the highest score in his class and the last test and the teacher. Mom! Enough of that. We're going to study now, so get out. Oh, of course, dear. I don't want to bother you while you're learning. But still, common kun was it? I hear Yasugami High's scores are starting to climb up there. She was already in the second year of middle school, so we need to start thinking about applying to high schools. Knowing him, I'm not worried about getting into good school, but when it's time for college? Mom, that's enough, I said. Oh my, I guess you're right. Well then, Kamakun, please make sure you teach him well. Study hard, Shuchin, okay? Now, who does that remind me of? Common son, right? Let me tell you up front, I have no intention of attending Yasugami High. The cram school I was going to wasn't that good, so I decided I needed to switch to private tutoring. Yeah, like, we got literally 100%, and that, like, bumped the average by, like, a full letter grade. We, we went from F to D, boys. Let's go. You were the only one available, so... If I think you're inadequate, I'll have you replaced immediately. Remember that. Don't worry about me. Yeah, <laughs> well, you're a little prick, ain't you? Of no. Of course I'm concerned. I'd rather not waste time introducing myself to a stream of prospective tutors. Then what should we start with? I don't have any subjects I'm particularly bad at. You feel confident that you should teach him. Um, yeah, P.E. You are absolute, you need, like, s you need social studies, but not, like, history and geography and whatnot. You need social studies on how to get mm. bitches. That's not funny. But you ignore it. Your diligence has increased. No, we're getting you going. You tutored Shu. He grasps concepts quickly. He answers the problems you have for him in no time at all. You worked hard in explaining the subject to him in an easy to understand manner. Your expression has increased. Your knowledge has increased. We'll continue next time. You were a good tutor. It was easy for me to understand what you were talking about. I'm sure my natural intelligence had something to do with that as well, of course. You're more than welcome to come again whenever you have the time. I'll keep working at my own pace, so... Uh, please come teach me again. You were accepted as a new tutor. You've become acquaintances with Shu Nakajima, the snooty tutoring peep... The snooty tutoring pu pupil. Jesus Christ. I am thou, and thou art I. Oh my god. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Tower Arcana. Yeah, you're getting into some self-destructive... Uh, ...behaviors, shoo. No wonder you're of the Tower Arcana. You may earn an XP bonus when fusing personas of the Tower Arcana. Goodbye. Uh. Yeah, no sensei, no, like, come on. You earn 10,000 yen from your tutoring job. Jesus. That pays pretty well. What the fuck? I can see a headline in large letters on the bulleted board. The Miss Yasogami High Pageant. 
seems that a cross-dressing pageant is also going to be held at the Culture Festival. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let's see. Yosuke Hanamura. Me? <laughs> Wait. And Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too. Gachi fucking base. Calm and cold. That's your name, all right. Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get, like, two people last year? <laughs> I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Oh, no. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really wrong. Someone else signs you up? It's them. They must have done I this. I agree. <laughs> it seems you'll have to enter the cross-dressing pageant at the culture festival. Dude, what if Naoto was also on, on the cross-dressing one? <laughs> A real Yosh moment. Yoshi moment. What, what, what's that fucking... TV show, you manga. Have a damn good explanation for this. Bakuto testo shokanju. Or something like that. For what? For what, my ass? For signing us all up in the cross dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing. Rise chan started saying, let's all have fun with this, so I didn't really have a choice. Wow, both of you shifting the blame. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. You little... This is cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! Yeah, this is kind of... This is kind of your... Wait, why am I involved in all of this? It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! Like, why'd you get myself and Kanji in this? Come on. That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? Oh, boy. That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it! Okay, Kanji, calm down. You need to... <laughs> Your balls apparently have not dropped yet. Listen. In real life, I'd probably say I'm really against this. But, you know, it's a video game. I'll give it my all. Whoa. Are you serious? I mean, we can't back out. What's done is done. Yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way she's gonna listen. That's the point, dumbass. Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this, period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. Hmm. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Oh, boy. Risa chans with us, too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. Oh, hmm. Yeah, you're positive we'll be pretty. I guarantee it. Hey, 
Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with what it. What a way to word that. Okay. There's nothing manly about being a woman. Calm down, Yosuke. I seriously refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. <laughs> Fuck. Why is this happening? We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? Listen. All right. Teddy and Yosuke are just as guilty as Chie and Rise. Y'all are fucked up. Nobody here is in the right. Nobody. If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> nah, it's the spirit, Yosuke. That's the spirit. Get some rest to make sure you're ready for the culture festival tomorrow. All right. The culture festival finally begins today. You wonder if your class project will be a success. You should hurry to school. This place looks really nice. The class booth, group date cafe. No one is stopping by. Come in for a first-hand experience with group dating. Oh, oh this is so embarrassing. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anybody. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Shills? Oh my god. Shills? Uh, who? You're not suggesting us, are you? Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. That's a good point. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. But there's only five of us here. Yo, how's it going? I'll date Kanji. I came to check up on you... guys. Perfect timing! But now we've got four guys and two girls. Eh, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. Why don't you can sit on the girl's side? <laughs> what? I'm not gonna... Boldly sit in the girl's area. Absolutely. Oh, you're volunteering? You never run out of surprises, man. That's the canon choice. Good to know. Also, my character still has awful posture. Look at that. Well, let's get started. Uh, uh you guys can start now. The fuck is that supposed to mean? Uh, uh, will someone please start? <sighs> Does anyone know how to run this? The silence is heavy. Should you try asking questions as if you were a girl? <laughs> what kind of girl do you like? Man, 
He's really getting into this. Actually, what the hell is this? A mock group date? Um, should I lead off? I guess I'd like a cute girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, um, I guess a girl that's kind and sort of fragile, you know, someone I'd want to protect. Interesting. Um, uh, man, this is, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> hey, your turn, Kanji. <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess someone who's kind of mysterious and, uh, looks strong, but's actually kind of, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I really wonder who you're talking about. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, out of the three of us here, who would you date? Hey, I object to this line of questioning. Yeah, everyone's just going to say kanji. Come on. Oh, don't worry. All right, let's start with you, Chie-san. Oh, don't worry. This seems kind of like a strong place to start. Like, isn't this supposed to be a half-hour thing? Uh, well... I feel like Chia is looking over at you. She could, be, could she be signaling you to help her? Um... Ask Yukiko the same question, yeah. Uh, me? Uh, who would I choose to date? Well, th that's private. Simply private. Isn't it? Chie gave you a wink of thanks. Okay, your turn. Who would you want to date? <laughs> a girl. <laughs> Oh, absolutely, Kanji. No, fucking... There really is only one real option. I like how the class rep isn't even an option. Yeah, obviously... What was, like, the old, like, fucking weeaboo thing that, like, people on the internet would say? Like, I'm Gar for, for like, ex-male character. Or blank character is so Gar or whatever. <laughs> okay, we get it. You're good at role-playing. Now quit it. You're creeping me out. <laughs> There are many forms of love. Didn't you tell me something like that? No, not at all. Well, I admit I'm pretty dependable and decent looking, right? Yosuke is proud for some reason. <sighs> the silence is heavy. Market. The group date cafe is officially a failure. The first day of the culture festival ended on a strange note. You decide to at least walk around the school a bit before going home. Marked. Yasugami High Hallway. Wow, this class is exhibiting a collection of local artifacts. I wish ours was doing something that's cool. We're doing a freaking play, man. What's up with that? It's too late to complain, Piglet. It's not Piglet. It's Hamlet. 
How'd I get stuck with that role anyway? And who the hell came up with this play? Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. Dude. Chill out, dude. Tomorrow's gonna be way more exciting. Right, Common? Oh, God. For <laughs> sure. I'm gonna be rooting for you in that beauty contest. Remember, first place or bust. Oh, God. You had fun with Ko and Daisuke. No, 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 no. You go ahead, Senpai. Uh, I'm not y used to these. Uh, I'm starting to sweat. Wait, Senpai! Don't leave me all alone. What is this? Spooky? Oh, I know. I'll just close my eyes. Uh. <laughs> Ow. What? Something underneath me? Did she fall over on me? Sorry for the trouble, senpai. But thanks to you, I wasn't as scared as I usually am. You had an exciting time with Ayane. I'm sure I did. Oh god. What's up, worst girl? The... The long-nosed fortune teller? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, come on. Who believe crap like this? <laughs> You're confident, one. Uh. Maybe you are pretty good. You want to challenge me? Bet you can't win. Overestimating your confidence will only work against you, miss. Hmm. I'll take that as your acceptance. Challenge you to read one fortune. No time limit. If I win, which I will, I'm going to destroy this sand. The subject of this little... Oh, no. Common's relationship with girls. If that's the case, I most certainly have the advantage. Oh, no. What does that mean? Share a stirring moment with I. You torn the culture festival with your friends. Margaret, no! Don't tell her! You're back. So you're home. Or, so you're home. Oh yeah, a package came for you. It's on the table over there. Oh, what did we get in the rare package? Oh, okay. Snuff soul. Nice. Uh, today's Saturday. Fuck, God damn it. The second day of the culture festival. At a classroom before the contest begins. Oh boy. This is this is happening. Why is Teddy here? Why are you guys just standing there? Come on, hurry up and sit down. <laughs> Come on, Kanji Kun. Over here. No oh boy. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. Uh, I don't know. The cross-dressing pageant will begin soon. It looks like you'll have to give up and let Yukiko apply makeup on you. What about me? You were not invited, Teddy. You don't go to this school. You don't go to any school. You're not a real human being. It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm actually gonna kill him. He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last minute contestant. He doesn't go to the school, Yosuke. So you're making him suffer too, huh? Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. What? Did they not check? Did they not see the name and were like, hmm, I wonder who the fuck this is. Oh, there's this random fucking person who just started attending our school for some fucking reason. We don't know who he is. Now, Tokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. Me? Oh, boy. 
The Nauto Teddy Team's Unstoppable! Best girl and worst character in anything ever. All right. Well then, um... First, I need some dazzling makeup. Please spit on him. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. Wait! The battle begins by choosing the right equipment! I don't think you have that luxury here. <laughs> we gotta use fake eyelashes, right? Uh, duh. How else are you gonna make my eyes look big and beautiful? Y yeah bring it on. What the fuck? <laughs> so it begins. What's with the afro and the swirly glasses? Ladies and gentlemen! We now begin the second day of the Culture Festival with the ever-popular Miss Yasugami Pageant! Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant! She's a runaway express train who's in of a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks! Oh no. Presenting Kanji Chan of the first year class three! <laughs> Sup. Sup. You love to see it. Ew, that's so creepy! Kanji, you gotta you gotta legs together. Listen, I know you got nuts. Just squish them. Oh, this is wrong on every level. Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? My eyes. Whoa, Got him. Oh, a conventional answer from this all too unconventional beauty. After such a strong start, I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant. <laughs> An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness, she's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. Presenting Yosuke-chan of the second year class two! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hi! Ugh. Holy crap! And here I thought Yosuke-senpai would be able to pull it off. Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Uh, now, you look ready to win in that outfit. Do you often dress like this? Uh, do you often dress like this? Hell no! Uh, <clears throat> like, no way! <laughs> what is with this? The laughing stock's up here. That's the point. What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come. Up next, our third contestant. He keeps on like gasping like he's a fucking dying fish. She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year, Class 2! Common Chan. There you go, I said it. What the fuck no is this bullshit? Senpai, why are you doing this? Whoa, I thought he was cooler than that. Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? Um. Yeah, damn straight. Wow, he was more gung-ho about this than Kanji. Damn that Kashiwagi. How dare she tear away our innocence like this. Now I'm scarred for life, damn it. 
Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Wow, they actually just let him in. Calling herself king of the TV world, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy Chan. Ah. Fuck out of here. I better fucking take that can't. Give me your heart. I better bash him upside the fucking head with this goddamn stick. That's a boy? He's so cute! I'd hit it. <laughs> the votes have been collected. And the winner of this year's Miss Yasugami pageant is the random contestant who won everyone's heart, Miss Teddy! As our champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. Oh boy. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasugami pageant with actual beauties this time. Oh boy. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. No. Woohoo! Please don't let him speak ever. An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy too. Again, I want to beat him to death. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. Well then, Miss Teddy, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long-awaited day has finally come! I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Oh, you're gonna get disqualified. Oh, you're totally gonna get disqualified. Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! What the hell? Over my dead body! Aw, I didn't bring a swimsuit. That bear needs to be disappeared. Told you. Well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this Who is going. Who let him on stage? You change back into your uniform and return to the hall. A dang drag costume. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Later that day, in the beauty pageant dressing room. Oh my god. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. I forgot Hanako is also... ...entering. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? Yeah, um, no, this is... Dumb and rigged and dumb. Mr. Teddy dropped this off. Oh my god. They're actually doing it. He said that they're swimsuits. What? With what money did he buy these? Hey, we don't need them! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. My mature charms will win the day. Wait, someone's actually paying him at Juness? I brought my own swimsuit, of course. Oh my god, he does have the girl's measurements. Right, oh my god. He was planning this all along. Clever bastard. I brought my own too. Uh, okay. What's with these people? Hey, let's let's not do this. Yeah. What's that? Getting cold feet? 
Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. Wow, you're kind of a cunt. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, and I suppose you think you're going to take the crown, you little snoring pig! Damn. <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brains as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you. That's it. Now I'm pissed. Oh, boy. Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Don't waste your energy. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh. <laughs> you're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! What was the last How time? How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? The fuck did you just paste into chat? Suit. You're not going anywhere. Now kiss. <laughs> Did they like sh actually like shove her model into the other? Like it looks like their models, if you saw it from like a different angle, would have been clipping into each other. <laughs> uh, you decided to watch the beauty pageant together with Yosuke and Kanji. But that's not all. For the Culture Festival's main event, there's still more to come in the Miss Yasagami pageant! The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? Wait, they're not wearing swimsuits. Now for our next contestant, Miss Chie Sasanaka of the second year's class two! Come on out, Chie! Not yet? Oh. Oh. Uh, um, I'm kind of shy and reserved, and my favorite food is pudding. It's, it's meat. Yeah. Shy and reserved. That liar. It's steak. Also, the meat in Inaba is definitely not beef. There have been many multiple, like, hints dropped. Thank you very much. Up next, another contestant from Class 2, Miss Yukiko Amagi! I wouldn't be surprised if it's people. Hello, my name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Boo! Boo! Shelling! Boo! <laughs> Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. <laughs> All right, that'll do nicely. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. Hi, hi, my name's Rise Kujikawa. 
Is that your casual clothes? I don't think I've ever seen Risa's casuals. I haven't been in town very long, but it's a great place, and I'm 100% thrilled to be here. It's a Soylent Green reference, by the way. So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rosette's gonna do her best, so I hope you'll yeah. all cheer for me. It's people! Soylent Green is people! Oh, thank you very much. Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! Hey, Kanji, here she comes. Shut up. Hey, shh. Pipe down. I, I'm Naoto Shirogane. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. They just say there's a lot of cattle farms outside the town. This right. is beyond my wildest imaginings. I, I really don't know what to say. C can I step back now? And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! Cheers. Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. <clears throat> I am Teddy, the honorary judge for this pageant. Teddy, stage presence. Face forward, asshole. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. What the fuck? Well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? What? Teddy, you... Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? What the fuck is this contest? Huh? Stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you? What the fuck? Teddy. 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 Stop. Someone get him off this fucking stage. I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Rise-chan? Jesus fucking Christ. What kind of a question is that? Hey, anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Oh boy, I wonder what that is. Wait till you hear this! For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition! The show must go on. And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here! We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. Who let Teddy on the stage? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was expecting. You sound like a dirty old man. Chie Senpai is cute though. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Like it. Sorry for what? This is great! Wow. Yukiko-senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. Yeah! Lusting over 16-year-olds! Woo! Oh, everyone's seen the commercial. Yoo-hoo! Here's Rosette! She's so gorgeous. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Huh? Miss Naoto? She's not coming out. Well, sad news everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Yeah. Too bad, Kanji. 
Huh? Uh, no, um... Well, yeah. But don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Um... Yeah. Huh? Is that allowed? Thanks for waiting, everyone! The results are in! Looking at the way the vote went, you guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters! Really? Okay, yeah. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner! Oh boy. Grand prize goes to... Miss Noto Shirogami! Really? Her androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts. We'd like to present Miss Nauto with her award now, but it looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. I, I didn't think my vote would actually matter. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Nauto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh, well. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? Oh my god. <laughs> Miss Kajawaki, <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, please lash out at each other. Oh, I was hoping that we're gonna fight. Miss <laughs> Kazuwagi. The Miss Yasugami High Pageant has come to an end. Oh, big bro. Yo, what's up, Nanako? Ah, good thing we found you. What's going on? I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Ah, okay. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Absolutely. Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> Can I? Thanks. Then I'm going to get going. Have a safe trip. Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. <laughs> hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Is that okay? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Teddy, you keep your fucking grubby hands out of this. Um... Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Oh. Hell yeah! I'm down! Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Teddy. Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? It's up to you, Nanako. Listen, I'll always let her have the choice. Let's go. I want to spend the night. All right. <laughs> Hot 
springs, you cut off flushed skins. Teddy. Nanako. Right there. I will report you to Dojima. Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms, too. Oh, okay. Might as well, then. Oh, yeah. Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? Everyone will be staying at the Amagi Inn tonight. Oh, boy. A room at the Amagi Inn. Aww, we're in different rooms. What? Teddy. Teddy. No. Bad. Well, duh. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Teddy. No. Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. First thing they're going to do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. Is it one of those girls and guys together springs? I don't think so, Teddy. I don't want to take more than one bath if I don't have to. Why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? Yeah. Sounds good. By the way, what's up with this room? It's kind of a nice place. It looks pretty expensive. Yeah. Oh, you thought so, too. Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? Oh, yeah, it's haunted. Senpai? What are you all quiet about? Oh, no! Oh, no! Now that you mention it, Did they find her in this room? Or is this the room that fucking woman stayed in? The, 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 the fucking... Oh my god. The phone is ringing. Jeez, that freaked me out. You answer it, Kanji. What are you freaking out for? Kanji's hands are shaking. Hello? Hello? Oh, I see. Cool, thanks. That was the front desk. Ah, uh, okay. Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Wow, Amagi Inn, great service. I broke out in a cold sweat. <laughs> oh, come on then. Let's go wash it off. I can't no. wait to take a bath with everyone. No. Don't fucking do it. We'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're going to sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? <sighs> That's a bathhouse. This is a hot spring. Man, everything on this side is so fun. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. <sighs> I really wish I hadn't. Thank you, Sensei. No, no need to thank me. Teddy is gazing at you in gratitude. The Teddy Social Link has reached level 8. Your power to create personas of the Star Arcana has grown. Teddy's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Oh boy. <sighs> Revives an ally with full HP. here 
I don't know, people get murdered all the time where I'm at. Wow. This place is huge. You're gonna fucking slip. Crack your fucking head open. There's plenty of room. Huh? Oh, okay. Wow, now tell your skin looks so soft. Can I touch? Can I touch? Huh? Um. Wow, it really is smooth. You're so lucky. You have such fair skin and silky hair. No unneeded body fat either. The fu- Come on, Risa. Hey, where are you touching? Um, Nanako-chan. Um, are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? No, it's lots of fun. Hmm. At home, I'm always alone until Big Bro comes back. Yeah. Oh, I, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Do strangers knock often? Wow, I bet he's so proud of you. Hey, Nanako-chan, do you want to swim around? Can I? I've been swimming here since I was young. Do you still do it? Huh? Um... <laughs> Why are you hesitating? Come on, let's race to the other side! Whoever loses owes everyone a fruit milk! Fruit milk? I want lemon soda! Uh, what? Me too? Lamau. Check out my dead man's float! Wow! You're good! Oh, what a giant spring! I'll show you all my teddy paddle! Teddy. Teddy. Ow! What the- Huh? You guys! W w why are you guys here? No! It's the worst possible situation. As the leader, you have to. <gasps> we have to hold our ground? Are you kidding me? No. Hold the line. <laughs> Love isn't always on time. You mustered up your courage and held your ground. But even when you think about it, does courage even matter in a situation like this? You gave the order to retreat. Retreat! It's an honest mistake. We're not gonna forget this! Yeah, whose fault is this? We'll have to punish them later. Wow, you got him good! The inns? Yeah, probably. The aim's pretty deadly, huh? I wonder if they caught a glimpse. Oh, it's actually the guy's turn to use the springs now. Oh my god. I got the times mixed up. 
Are you serious? Aw, oh, crap. I think we went too far with them. Yukiko. Uh, what should we do? Apologize, maybe. Oh, it'll be fine as long as we keep quiet about it. This'll just be between us girls. Do you want to race again, Nanako-chan? Changes into your and return to the room. Obtained bath towel. Damn it! I checked again, and sure enough, the hot spring's supposed to be for men at that hour. They're so evil. Evil, I tell you! <laughs> the horny outfit. I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. Don't press it too hard. <laughs> Those are lumps from the pails whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, guys, did you, uh, see anything? No. No? None whatsoever. Teddy got real close, too. Jesus. Damn it. I lead a cursed life. Let's just go to bed. Hold it, senpai. Do you hear something? Hmm? <laughs> oh, that's just Hanako. What was that? <laughs> I heard it, too. D don't tell me. I is there one here? One here? W one what? Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> this room. It's the one that announcer was staying in before she died. My mom was talking about it. I knew it. it. Oh, God, you said it. I was trying to block it out, and you had to go and say it. So that's why there's talismans here. Yukiko, that witch tempted us here knowing full well. Damn it. First the hot spring, now this. We've been completely suckered. That really does just sound like Hanako. Oh, crap. There's no way I'm sleeping through this. I've made up my mind. I'm going to Yuki-chan's No, room. the fuck you're not. I can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's sleeping faces as I drift off. Do you stare at Yosuke? Oh, no. You stay here, asshole. Sleeping faces? Are you going to sneak into their room? You can't be... <sighs> okay, what the fuck? This is actually fucked. Hey, what should we do? We really shouldn't. Uh... It's probably just someone else. Is, is there a canon answer here? I don't know. We, we really shouldn't. If anything, Teddy really shouldn't. Then we'll have to spend the night here. No way! I can't! I won't! Alrighty! It'll be a surprise awakening for them! It turns out you're going to be sneaking into the girls' room. <sighs> okay, yeah. Sure. Good morning, everyone! Why are you in your suit? It's a surprise awakening! No, a surprise break-in. This is Teddy, reporting in. When did you put that on? I feel awkward without it, so I always bring it. Stop talking like that. Oh, check it out, a hairbrush. Ooh, and it's got long strands of hair on what it. What the fuck? You're really into this, aren't you? Damn straight. It's time I got revenge for the camp out. Hey, good point. All right, I'll get my revenge. It smells too. minty. <laughs> a, a toothbrush. 
Holy crap, my heart's pounding. Huh? But what about Nanako-chan? Don't worry. Nanako-chan is a magnanimous girl. Wait, hold on. Someone tell me the definition of magnanimous right now. God damn it, I need to know. Oh, okay, yeah. Forgiving. Oh. Also, I have been given my Counter-Strike trading cards, so it appears as though I am now legally obligated to download Apex. Legally obligated. Doesn't mean I have to enjoy it. Magnanimous girl. Well, that's true. I don't know. What are you gonna fucking do? Piss on her fucking... But try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. And I swear to God, Teddy, if you lay a hand on Nanako, they won't find your body. Reach the futons. They're fast asleep. They snuck into the wrong room. There's no way this is the right room. Excuse me. Yuki-chan, I'm scared of the ghosts. All right. I can do this too. It's time to prove I'm a man. Yeah, this is not the right room. Cheers, senpai. Be gentle. Huh? One, two. Where's the rest of the futons? Hmm? What's going on? <gasps> Why are you staying together? Oh, my! So that's how you guys are! Ah, uh, you should have said so! Mmm, such naughty boys. <laughs> we need to get out! Ah, be gone! <laughs> Holy crap! D don't touch me! We were crying our poor eyes out until now, you know. We thought there were no men who appreciated our beauty. What? D lady. Lady. What? <laughs> all right, boys. I'm all yours. And not a word about this to anyone. No. <laughs> Come here, tiger. Especially no. <laughs> You've seen things no student should see. You decide to give up and go back to your room to sleep. I'm telling you, it was just Hanako. This feels great. I love, love, love being able to take a bath anytime I want. Singing it to the heavens, are you? How's Nanako Chung? She's dead. Fast asleep. Hey, did you know Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako san were staying in the room next to ours? Those two seem to get along really well. I'm surprised. Maybe that's. Maybe that's her mom. They come and stay here now and again. Usually they come to cry when something breaks their hearts. Huh. Huh. I guess they were really devastated from losing to Naoto Kun. Kun. Please don't bring that up again. I just wanted to see the bathing suit, man. Well, they do make a good team. I mean, they're very enthusiastic. night at the Amagi Inn passes by.
All right. So that's 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 a couple of good episodes of uh No. Ah, fine. Well it's from Yosuke. Thank goodness. I knew I could count on you to pick Sorry, up. this will have to wait till next time. You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you. The Halloween fair starts at Juness today. We're nowhere near ready. Oh god. We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help. You're the only one I could think of. Please, I'm begging Who's you. The floor manager. Yes, I have to. I'm sorry. Yes, I owe you one, partner. All right, I'm gonna have to. I was gonna end the stream and go piss, but I guess I'm gonna fucking piss okay, into a can. I'll see you at the food court. Juness Food Court. You and Yosuke are working hard on putting up the decorations. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Oh, my back hurts, but I'm finally done. Dude, what is that costume? I kind of love it. Man. You're fast, Yosuke. <laughs> Well, this place is practically my backyard, after all. Oh, wait, you're done, too. <laughs> but man, that costume's a good fit for you. It's so natural on you that it looks like your everyday outfit. Uh, <laughs> leave it to me. <laughs> what kind of boast is that? He probably can't wear an outfit because, you know, he's working. Anyway, you're a lifesaver. Thanks. Then again, as long as he's here... Oh, no. Don't bring him into this, please. It, it looks like he's having fun. Guess he's like our store mascot now. Yeah. Seems like it. Huh? Hey, uh, Yosuke-kun, uh, what's going on here? Hmm? Oh, there you are. These are the decorations for the Halloween fair. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke-kun. That got canceled a while ago. Huh? What? Hmm? I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting when they announced it. You mean they announced it this morning? <laughs> oh, well, maybe you were still groggy since it was so early. Well, I'll be counting on you to clean this up. Excuse the fuck me? <laughs> this, this is amazing, though. Did you two uh, do all this yourselves? Yes. If you're gonna work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. Stop looking at me like that. You're only making it worse. <sighs> Yosuke apologized and gave you a thank you gift before you went home. It was the Halloween costumes that weren't used. Obtained Halloween costume. Okay, that was worth it. Today. Now for our next story. Oh boy. Mr. Kozai of the Environmental Concern Society visited a local elementary school to investigate the effects of the fog. Hmm. Thick fog has appeared frequently in Inaba over the past few years, and the cause of it has yet to be determined. Interesting. There's been much conjecture on the origin of this fog, and some are concerned about its effects on the human body. On the human body. Town officials believe it highly unlikely that the fog could be harmful. I mean, yeah. Unless it's, like, coming from... Like, sewage treatment plant. Or, like, fucking... 
Y you know, unless it's like actually coming from a toxic source. One official suggested that the concern is largely tied to public anxiety in response to the recent murders. Yeah, that's probably it. On hearing about the phenomenon, Mr. Kozai visited the local elementary school to investigate its effects. But why? Why the elementary school? He interviewed the children playing happily in the fog about their health and any anxieties they were facing. Did he get arrested for being a fucking nonce? Oh, that man came to my school. Huh. Upon completing the investigation, Mr. Kozai issued a statement. The fog is scary. In this day and age, one must stay aware of even slight changes in the environment and react politically. Today, I talked with a young student who spoke her own mind, free from the influence of those around her. It was an attitude and an example that we as adults can learn from. Our primary concern should always be to protect these children's futures. On that note, Mr. Kozai ended his statement. Interesting. The assembled parents applauded, but some raised concerns that it was a show to attract voters in the next election. Yeah, that seems kind of useless. Like, you kind of said nothing there, my friend. The news continues. <gasps> Are you okay, Nanako? My head hurts. Oh, fuck. Nanako's face looks red. Ah, uh, maybe you got sick from the hot spring. <sighs> she has a high fever. You need to put her to bed. You gave Nanako some medicine and had her lie down. Hey, big bro. What's up? Are you... going back home in spring? It's going to be winter soon. <sighs> if it snows... Can we make a snowman? We can play a lot. Let's play all the time until spring. Of course. Nanako seems to have fallen asleep. Should take her to bed later. So the culture festival is over. Old Man Winter is on his way. Now we're entering the season for winter sports. Figure skating's really popular, isn't it? All right, this may be gym class, but I'm gonna give you an English lesson. Think of it as mental strength training. <sighs> Tell me what the figure in figure skating refers to. Uh, I would assume it's geometric shapes. However, uh, well, figure actually uh, applies to a lot of things, right? Figure can apply to the human body. Figure can apply to math. It might be arithmetic computation. Right, like, uh, this fucking... figure skating likely has little to do with uh some certain things oh god again this is one of the ones that they don't tell you in advance i mean it's not like we need to advance our knowledge or anything uh it's, it's fucking Arithmetic computation. Nope, the figure in figure skating is shapes. The figure has had to draw shapes, uh, I judged on the accuracy. Think of action figures. Uh, the skaters look like beautiful dolls anyway, ha 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 ha. Your answer was incorrect. I, I had it right the first time. I don't know why I doubted myself. Um, I was thinking of doing some training today. You want to join me? Spend the day with GA. 
Decide later. I see. Uh, oh no, it's okay. You don't have to come if you're busy. See you later. What will you do after school? I want to pee. I need to pee. <laughs> Okay. I'm actually... I, I wanna... I'm just gonna end without saving. So that we start from the hot spring bit. After the hot spring bit. We get a recap, you know? All right. So that's all for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, please go ahead and feel free to follow. I do try to stream as much as I possibly can. I can't even say every single day anymore because I missed the last two days. Uh, now, before I leave, I would like to take a moment to shout out a person. A person. Uh, who is deciding that they want to get their streaming stuff started as well. And recently did a bit of streaming themselves. And it was really, it was really good. It was really successful. Uh, they've streamed in the past, but now are, are going to get serious about it. They've got a schedule lined up. So... If you have the time, please visit twitch.tv forward slash guy to, you know, follow. Give them a follow. They're neat. Maybe not as professional. Maybe not as uh, well-mannered as moi. But, you know. It's whatever. <laughs>